Hey scientists, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about enzymes. You have a digital handout. It is titled uh, Villarreal 1028 Elements Found in Living Things. Doc. I have shared this with you in uh, Schoology. So let's take a look. There's a brief reading. It's one page of reading and then we have some questions to answer. Okay, I'm not going to answer all of your questions. However, I am here to go with you through the reading. I have my handout here. I am going to be making notes with you. <clears throat> so I do suggest that you use the highlighting feature here by clicking this. You can choose a color. You must first click and drag an item and then click the highlight color. You can undo it as well by clicking none. And you can make yourself notes by clicking the little plus and add comment button. And you can leave yourself notes as well. So I am going to read through it with you. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and grab my highlighter. Okay, enzymes. Enzymes can be identified by their shape, function, and their name. They always end in ACE, A-S-E. Enzymes are protein molecules that act as biological catalysts. Okay, so enzymes, I'm going to go and circle that. They are proteins and they act as biological catalysts. What is a catalyst? A catalyst is a substance. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight or underline this in another color. A catalyst is a substance that speeds up the rate of a reaction. So for example, I'm gonna draw myself a little graph here. Okay, let's say for you to break down a cheeseburger. It starts out really, really slow, and then it starts to break down your cheeseburger. Okay, but an enzyme can speed up how fast that reaction is going. So if I have more enzymes, maybe I can break down that cheeseburger a lot faster. Okay, they do this by lowering the activation energy needed to start a reaction. Okay, so let's say I need a whole bunch of energy to even start this. So instead, an enzyme can lower that. So I don't need as much energy anymore to do the entire reaction. I can lower the activation energy. Enzymes are reusable, which is awesome. Okay, so they are reusable, making them the ultimate recycler. So I can use an enzyme many, many, many times. Just one catalyst molecule can convert 40 million molecules of hydrogen peroxide, that's H2O2, into water, H2O, and oxygen each second. Wow, that's amazing. Cells contain thousands, okay? Cells contain thousands of different enzymes to control the functions of your cell. So this is on an everyday second-by-second second basis. They are doing this. Enzymes must physically fit. This is important. Enzymes must physically fit a specific, what's called substrate, in order for them to work properly. So that is shown here in this picture. These are like puzzle pieces. Okay, it's like a puzzle piece here. If they do not fit, then you can't force them to fit. They need to fit perfectly together for them to work. So kind of like a key in a lock, right? My key is not going to unlock that door and work if it's the wrong key. So this larger piece on the bottom, this is my enzyme. Your smaller piece on top is a substrate. Where they fit, where they meet, right in here, this is their active site, okay? They must fit together in order to work, okay? If they don't work, they do not, they do not fit, okay? So let me underline this. Pieces don't fit, don't work. The place where they fit an enzyme to be, catal to be catalyzed is called the active site, which I had uh, just explained. Excess heat, what does excess mean? Okay, so uh, excess 
means too much. Okay, so too much heat. I'm going to highlight this. Too much heat or a change in pH from neutral. So if it gets too acidic or too basic, it can change the shape of the enzymes and their active sites to where it's unable to work. This is now called denatured, when it's no longer able to fit. Okay, so if you heat it up, or if it's too, if the environment is too acidic, if it's not neutral, the environment has changed, then I can change my shapes of my enzymes and it will no longer fit that substrate. It is no good. We call this denatured. Some enzymes have a second site where a coenzyme, co means together, right, to work together, coenzymes attaches to help make the substrate fit better on the active site. In this sketch below, so in this doodle here, color the enzyme purple. Okay, so enzyme needs to be purple. The substrate, yellow. And my coenzyme needs to be green. I'm going to go ahead and get me a green color. And you can do this in your Google Doc by using the little, I'm going to go over here to my Google Doc. You can use your highlighter, okay, or you double click. You can double click this in your in your image options. But either way, that's fine. If you want to just highlight this, enzyme is purple, okay, substrate yellow, coenzyme green, that is fine. It, your active site is asking for you to have it red. That's okay. Okay, so my active site I know is where they fit. So that's going to be in here, active site. My enzyme here is purple. My substrate is yellow. And I'm done there. Enzyme substrate complex. Condensation is the removal of water molecules. When I do condensation, the process of condensation, I am linking amino acids together to form chains. These chains are called polypeptides. So condensation, I'm linking amino acids together. So I'm building, right, that polymer. These are polypeptide chains. Uh, they join to form ultimately proteins. Okay, so polypeptides come together to make proteins. The bonds holding amino acids together, these are peptide bonds. Okay, so those that hold amino acids together, those are peptide bonds. I'm going to read your questions for you. However, I'm not going to answer them. You have your answers in the reading. <clears throat> Question 17, and I'm going to scroll down on the Google Doc so you have this. Question 17, what subunits, those are monomers, what monomers make up proteins? Question 18, proteins also act as what in cells to control reactions? Number 19 is a free response. What is a catalyst? So you need to start with a catalyst is... Okay, 20 cells have blank of enzymes to act as biological blank. 21, enzymes have an attachment site called the blank site for these blank to join. 22, what's the effect of excess heat or temperature on an enzyme? So what happens? Okay, so you would start with... The effect of excess heat... On an enzyme is, okay, blah, blah, blah. 23, amino acids are linked together to make proteins by removing a molecule of blank in a process called blank. 24, chains of amino acids make these, which can join together to make a blank. 25, blank bonds form when water is removed to hold blank acids together. 26, Enzymes can be identified by their blank, and blank, and blank. 27, enzymes always end in this. 
28, enzymes must physically fit a specific blank to work properly. 29, enzymes are not reusable, true or false. And 30, how do catalysts speed up the, re the rate of reaction? So we're using complete sentences. Catalysts speed up the rate of reaction by this. Okay, so you have all of your answers in the reading. Double check your answers with the Master Notebook Scientist. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you guys in class.